Hi, my name is Lauren Parker, and I would love to take the time to present some information to the Spring 2015 class of Linguistics 46 about planning and pausing our speech. I'd like to start with some conceptualization. This is all in our noggins. It's where that whole speak before you think lesson came from. But seriously, this is where we need to decide what we are going to say. We use facts about what type of situation our listener may be in, along with how well they understand the conversation. For example, listening to me chat about conceptualization and how you may respond to it. This is what leads to pre-verbal, so before we can actually open our mouths, type of message. This part happens before our string of words is even connected. A really important part to keep in mind is the specific pattern of pausing that speakers produce. I personally am a natural born loud and fast speaker, must be the Chicago roots. Especially for this sort of verbal deliverance, I really need to focus on my spacing and pausing. I tend to rush my words and my thoughts. Feel free to ask my rabbi how fast my Torah portion went by. But let's take a moment to demonstrate when a pause in fact is actually a pause. Now, words like space, absolute, or eliminate would be an articulary pause. That is because our lips must close for a very brief silence. But some research and big decisions were made, and it was decided that the minimum duration to be considered a pause is about 200 milliseconds. But some listeners pick up pauses when there really aren't any. This is due to speakers' slowing speech rate. Any examples? I can think of one. Bueller. Bueller. Little slow. A delimitative pause would be where written text has a punctuation, but as the reader, we may break the utterance. For an example, if I were to write it down, I would write, Mary, comma, do you need to go to Costco? Where in real life, I would just say, Mary, do you need to go to Costco? Now, the most common pause for me would be the psychological pause. Again, this is because I naturally speak fast. This is when myself as the speaker needs to articulate my breathing while I'm speaking also known as shutting up and taking a breath every once in a while while I'm chatting. It is important to practice so we can take a moment where breath is more natural and the pause is there for a reason. Everyone has most definitely planned an utterance in some detail. I read over this about 10 times before actually recording it and I definitely tweaked and adjusted some things so my pauses came across more naturally. Well, I tried my best at least. It is a lot more difficult thinking about my speech as I'm actually doing it. I usually blurt out whatever comes to mind, and sometimes it's so mumbled or so fast that no listeners could even understand what I'm talking about. These are the times where learning about pauses and my reading my body language of my listeners is really important. At times, planning becomes very obvious between read speech and unprepared speech. Another interesting thing is that spontaneous speaking actually uses more planning than prepared speech does. With that, it does contain more false starts and self-interruptions. That being said, I really hope I helped you understand more about planning and pausing our everyday source of communication. Think about it next time you have a regular chat or next time you have a speech due. Thank you so much for a wonderful semester and enjoy your summer.